Hey guys. Welcome again. This time we're doing some uh, we're doing some Eve level four missions. Oh, I know you love them, just as much as I do. Anyway, let's uh, let's get straight down to it. We're in the Tengu, as the title says, and let's just see what she's offered us. Oh, that's right. Enemies are bound. We never finished the last one. So let's... Uh, this is... Sorry, no, this is the fourth. We've got another one after this. So, enemies are bound. <coughs> uh, it's going to be a big one. 8,656 loyalty points. 2 million, 2 million. So, yeah, it's going to be quite a big one. So, destroy the road and ship yard factory, then report back. So that's the main thing. I don't I don't think you even have to uh, kill everything. And it's next door in Ruvus. Uh, we are dealing with Galenti, so we are fine with what we've got. Th kinetic thermal, let's check we've got enough ammo. Uh, we need some... We need some Rage Scourge. Let's get some Rage Scourge. Oh yeah. We'll put 5,000 in there. It'll be way enough. Same fit. I've not changed the fit since the last time we came out, guys, which was three or four, five days ago. Can't remember. <laughs> uh, and that's fine. Kinetic and thermal. Uh, shield hardness. Two kinetic, one thermal. And if you simulate that, it will give you exactly... There you go. 91% kinetic, 83% thermal, which is awesome. And so we will, without a further ado, we will undock and go next door and do the mission. It's going to be, this is going to be a, you know when you've got 8,000 loyalty points, you know it's going to be, it's not going to be a, an easy walkover. Okay, let's walk to the gate. I'm going to keep that skin for a while. I might treat myself to another one later on. Shame you can't transfer skins between characters, because Fodder never uses his. So I could have that on here. The like black with red light, thick two, two thick red lines through the ship. Really good. Anyway. Let's see where we go. So I won't be on for uh, three or four days, guys, after this. I've got a few personal matters to sort out. And uh, it will be limiting my access to the uh, to the computer. And any sort of streaming is really out of the question while I'm committed to doing that. Anyway, I do get time. I'll probably just record it and then just throw it up rather than go live. Let's get to this mission. Hardness on. Computer on. We're fully loaded. Magazines loaded with missiles. <clears throat> and we're good to go. Don't know if any of you guys, I know one of the guys uh, was, he just bought um, a Tango. Was it Roland? Yeah. Well, he put a comment on there, just bought a Tengu, so I hope you're doing well with that, Roland. If you're having any problems, give me a shout. I can certainly put you on the right path. You see, you've got my fit in anyway. There's a fit in there. Uh, and, and like I say, you've, and there's another fit in on the last video I did as well with the Tengu. I went through that quite, uh, quite thoroughly. But any problems, just hit me up, guys. Like I said before, I love this ship. It is just a mission ship. But full stop. I'll put it in front of anything. Anything that, you know. Not a level 5. 
which you can't really do and you don't get them in here. Ooh, what's this? Federation officer. Let's get rid of these little ones, shall we? Because they are a pain in the bum. We'll orbit the gate, we'll just stay at 1,000 orbit. Hmm, that wasn't all. So let's just go two and two. Two and two. They do hit hard, if I remember rightly. Two and two. Yeah, so we'll nibble away at these. They'll slow me down now, but three are about to die. Let's lock another one up. Let's lock another one up, because that'll die in a minute. Okay, let's... Uh, ah, that's it. Cool. So we've done pretty well there, guys. They're uh, pretty weedy, weedy lights, which is what we like to see. Easy to kill. Alright. Federation, Federation Navy Orion. Yeah, there's no bounties on any of these, so what I would suggest would be um, bringing a, a salvager. On a, if you've got a salvager, you can have another character on a salvager. I would recommend doing that. So at least you're getting something from the mission, apart from 8,000 loyalty points and 4 million in ESC. But you're not getting bounties, and you've seen the bounties I get. My ticker on the, my payout, my ticker is like, can be 11 million. Every, uh, every, every ticker is, well, it's up and down. I've seen it at 7 million, I've seen it at 11 million. But um, every tick, should I say, not ticker. But that's every payout. So the faster you go through, of course, the better the payout, because the more you're killing, if they've got bounties. These last three are taking some time to die. Blimey, that little one's taking a lot to die. As soon as this one's dead, I'll put them all on him. Thank you. Put those on him. He'll die and he will as well. Let's get that one locked up. Come on. A module has run out of charges. Thank you. A module has run out of charges. Okay, so let's get these. I might as well reload them all. Three on that one. Three on this one. Get them a bit quicker. <coughs> So number five, uh, enemies about, I can't remember what, it's a long time since I've done this mission. We'll see what it is anyway. It won't be as substantial as this one, for sure. Right, these are dying quicker. There we go. And let's just help that one off. See ya. And we'll start killing the big boys. That's a bit noisy, guys. Sorry about the levels. I'll bring that level down a bit. There we go. It's just bearable. This one will be dead soon. And he's gone.
next. I love to watch the damage. Serious damage. This boy's going nowhere. Have I got enough missiles in the magazine to finish him off? I might just have enough. Come on. Oh no, son of a gun. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get him now. He is, there you go. It does happen like that quite a lot. You just don't have enough in the magazine to finish it. See ya. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Don't need to reload. Uh, I might as well leave that boost in. Okay, they're all in range. We'll kill these two. There's going to be some spawns, you know it. But I'm going to kill these two at close by. Just slowly meander over to the gate. See if I can drag some with me. Ouch. See, Megatron's... They're using blasters, so it's close-up stuff for them. Having said that, you can snipe with them if you've got the right setup. But mainly, it's, they like to be up close and personal. But in the past, I have seen sniping Megatrons. with the appropriate weapons, but blasters are definitely close, up close and personal. Railguns tend to be... Hey! Not playing Daisy today. <laughs> Don't know if any of you guys play Daisy. I do quite a few videos of Daisy as well. Did one this morning, I didn't, didn't go live, I just did... Um, I just did one and recorded it. It's not a bad game, guys. I enjoy it. It's changed so much over the years. As is, as has Eve. My God, Eve, I think, is, um, has made more of a trans transformation than uh, Daisy. Another one bites the dust. Okay, boys. These die so quickly, the Dominixes. Just rip through them. Get out. Megatrons are slightly tougher, but the, you know, they still, they still go down. He's gonna be on his own soon. There you go. No! <laughs> right on. Oh no, I wasted a few there. 
There we go. Let's take this boy out. What's he using there? They are blasters, aren't they? Jobs are good. Drive See you, big boy. <laughs> oh, we have to. Let's have a look. You know what? I'm going to go javelin. If I go javelin, they're all in range. And this is it. We've got no gate, so this is the final room. Oh dear god, look at all these little kids. So we're just gonna casually jog. Just have a little jog over here. Need to keep on the move, guys. Keep your transversal. Always keep your transversal. Especially when you're webbed and everything else. You got these little buggers on you. So we just need to rip through these little ones as soon as possible. Not going to be going on like, what, double webbed. I'm going to be going fast. Jeez, I'm turning it down a bit more guys because it's so loud. I mean, I know I like a bit of noise in the game, but my god, it's deafening sometimes. Next one. We'll go through them slowly but surely. Because they're on top of us. And we're using javelins, so we're not... We're not getting anywhere near the... Uh, with the rage, we get about 1,200. With the javelin, you get about seven, 780, something like that. So, uh, nearly half. So uh, we will just work our way through these little gits. <laughs> Next one. So, well, we're going full whack now, so we are out of the way of them. Should be killing these before they get to me now. That's close. <coughs> because they're coming towards me, the transversal is lost. They're going in a straight line. That's the best way to kill them. Right, once they're on top of you, and they are orbiting, then that's a different matter. Like, these two now are on top of me. So my speed is reduced. <laughs> okay, let's finish these off. Getting some serious damage now, guys, but the rep is coping with it, but it's... It's one of those rooms, like I said. 8,000, uh, 8,500 loyalty points. It's not going to be easy. Especially if you're in a lesser ship, you would definitely be doing some serious uh, brown pants stuff. <laughs> you would. And you would have to seriously be micromanaging all your systems, all your reppers, your, your uh, boosters, whatever you're in. But the main thing is, any, any of these scram you, you make sure you kill that scrammer first, or disruptor. Anything that stops you going to warp, you kill it first. 
don't worry too much about the webbers at least you can warp off if it just gets too hot I've been there I have lost chips believe me years ago doing level fours when I didn't have the skills and I couldn't kill a ship that was scrambling me and I was toast I think I was in a Geddon that's I think that's all I could fly at that point that was the best ship I could fly but I'm going back uh, uh, quite a few years Right, where's the big boys? They're over there. Okay, so I'm going to st start making a way over there now. I'm turning back. So I should. I'm going to take that sentry gun out. thousand fifty seven that's not bad cool Okay, now we are. I'm going to knock the uh, afterburner off, guys. We just need to kill these. Oh, I need to kill. Of course, I need to blow up the shipyard, don't we? So let's lock that up. And the mission might. should be done. Let's give it a go. I'm going to go with Rage because all these are in. all in range. Ish. Let's go to him. Okay. Let's see how quick this dies. Dear God. Oh my god, it's going to take forever. I mean, two, I'm maxing out 2222 two, two, two. kinetic kinetic damage. That's going to take a little bit to blow up. <coughs> but this should end the mission. I don't need to kill those. I could have just come in, killed it, and gone out. Right, we're halfway through, it's taken us 30 seconds, so... The minute it'll be through its shield. Should be quicker through armour, I think. Let's just get out of there. Okay, we're into armor. We're, uh, the shield's not completely gone, but we're into armor now. That's going a lot quicker. Come on, big boy. Big girl. Let's kill this thing. Stop messing around, let's just kill it now. 
Right, she should go down there like a sack of spuds. Maybe a tough sack of spuds. <laughs> uh, at least she's on rep up. Wonder if there's any goodies from this. Don't think there are. Okay, let's get ready. She's got a blow. And you look at the scale, there's the ship. Look at the scale. Huge explosion. There you go, look. Objective complete. This'll go kaboom. Sweet. And there's no damage to the ship. Which is good. Drive active. Let's go home. There's no wreck. Oh, don't know. What's that? Shall we have a quick... Mm. Alright, we'll have a quick look at that. Don't think it'll be anything of any any substance, but it's worth a look, just in case. Did that look like it came from the station? I just don't want to go to a cargo container that's come from a, you know, one of these centuries because they just drop crap, just the odd missiles. We'll see. Got to get two and a, within two and a half thousand uh, meters, then you can open it. There we go. God, really? Ah, right, we're going home. We're going home. Well, that was fun. So we'll do load number five. We'll see what I don't, I cannot remember what it is. So we'll, we'll sort it when we come to it. Whatever you do, these Autothysian lancers never attack them because you will lose your ship. Wherever you are in EVE, never attack them. Unless you've got uh, capital support behind you and everything else. Or you're in a fleet of 50, 60, 80 ships. Even then, I would be tempted not to attack them. Drive active. Tough little buggers. Requested. Okay. Docking request accepted. Okay. Where's my money, bitch? <laughs> Here we go. 
sweet. Um, let's have a look at five. Oh, it's saying, right, okay, it's Mimitar. Right, so it's going to be, um, it's going to be, um, explosive and thermal, I think. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the, let's have a quick look at the mission. Where are you? Yeah, kinetic, explosive and kinetic. That's fine. I think we'll stick with kinetic weapons and we'll just swap out the... We'll swap out the... We'll swap out two of these for... Ex no, one of these. For we'll swap out the thermal. Let's do it. Sorry guys, just wife's well, just texting me for oh, what she's saying now. Seriously. Can't leave you alone even though they're not here. Let's have a look. We're gonna stay with kinetic damage, but we're going to swap out the thermal oh, Jesus, I hate doing that. Swap out the thermal for an explosive. Let's have a look now. Let's just simulate that. Uh, I'm going to swap one of the kinetics for another explosive. Got quite a few of these explosive. Uh, there you go, 9081. That's better. Okay. And it's next door again. Let's accept it. Oh. Right, sorry, just altering my mic again. Sorry, guys. Keep. I'm never happy with this. <laughs> anyway. So let's go. Let's do it. I think I've got enough ammo. Just double check that yeah hmm I'll put a little bit of javelin in okay we're good Next door again. So we're killing Mimitar ships, so we should see. Anybody knows the Mimitar ships? We should see. What should we see? Macarials, uh, Cinnables. Mm -hmm. What else? Might even see Hurricanes. I don't know. I don't know. But, um,. Probably going to be Macarials. So easy to kill, though. Well, in the missions, they are. Right, come on, big girl, do me proud. Let's go to this mission. Oh. What did we have to do? Damn you. Uh, oops, no, not that one. Where? Ah, oh, God's sake. 
Let's have it floating for a start. What the hell? Uh, okay. Where did the journal disappear to? I can never find that now. Uh, mission agents. Thank you. No. And she wants us to... Uh, okay. Okay. Let's get some. Uh, see how hard they hit. Little buggers. Oh, it's a tempest. Excellent. That's nice to see. Republic Fleet Tempest we used to fly those in uh, in the Alliance. Yeah, be nice to see um, Maelstroms as well. <laughs> okay, that one's dead. There'll be no bountains on on these. So I'm probably going to just orbit this uh, structure. So if you look, she's hitting me hard. And if you look, the, the damage is more kinetic than explosive. So really, I should have kept that kinetic on. But we'll see. And I need to add these because... Uh, my overview. Right. Ah, okay, we've got vaggers or stabbers. Stabbers, all stabbers. <laughs> Great little ships of stabbers, but they they they're only cruisers, so they will die. Oh they will die. Boom. I do like the look of the stabbers. I mean I love the vaggers. They were my favourite ship at one point. Lovely ship. So versatile. Okay, let's add him. Okay, oh, alright, okay, rupture. These are all tech one. Rupture's a tech one. Typhoon, nice. Missiles, or, well, you can, it depends what you want. They are a pizza, bit of everything ship. A module has run out of charges. Come on, boys. Funny looking ships out there. Have a look. So, yeah. They ain't so tough. They ain't so tough. have to add these to because I'm just not ah. 
Right, let's get a typhoon. He's right on top of me, so he'd be doing some damage. Look, 140. You know you've got your setup wrong when they're getting 140 damage on a Tango. But it's fine. The booster's coping with it, so I'm not in any, any panic. Let's just get rid of these. Dark Canna in a Tempest Fleet issue again. They do. She does hurt. Twelve, that's from the lights. See what she hits us with. Third, well, no, one, one hundred thirty. <coughs> She's dead, she just doesn't realise it yet. So, does anybody know what the Tempest was used? It was used for a, a, for a film made by the fans, by the players of Eva. If you know what it was called, they used the Tempest. If you know what it's called, just put it in the comments, guys. Uh, I was actually in the first, the first film. Um, I was actually in, in the fleet in in Abaddon. How about that? My claim to fame. You can see the first film. I won't tell you what it's called. And if you look at the credits, you'll see right in the middle of all the stunt pilots, Fozzy TB. That's me. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we haven't finished it. So we'll use it. So she. All oh, right. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Let's go to it then. Let's go to it. Right. So we need to destroy the gate. Okay, let's destroy the gate. Yeah, there are those who uh, there's quite a few of us who are all on we're all on um I think we were on Mumble maybe. Might have been on TeamSpeak. Um and they were filming and they were, they asked us to do this, do that, move the ships into a certain position. Um, and it was just brilliant. It went on. I think we they started doing our section at I think ten o'clock at night. We didn't finish till two in the morning, but it was absolutely hilarious. Everybody was just having a laugh on uh, on TS. Brilliant. If you look at the the, uh, at the there's a fight scene in it. Where Galanti versus um, Am Amar, a lot of Amar ships are all Galanti ships, versus the, versus the Am Amarian ships. And there's an Abaddon that, at the front of the Amarian fleet that goes down and underneath the fleet at the front. Well, that's me. <laughs> oh, I love it. It was just such fun. Okay. Well, we need to finish this gate, but my God. It's a tough one. We might have to come back to the gate, guys. If any more spawn, we may have to come back to the gate. In fact, we are going to come back to the gate. I want rid of these first. Come on. Yes. Kill the little ones.
accountable. You call those now. Uh, another couple of typhoons. Three typhoons. Oh, a tempest. And a typhoon. Concentrate on the game. They're a bit nippy, these, but they're uh, weird looking things. But that's Mimitar. Bungee cords and gaffer tape. <laughs> Rust buckets. I love my Mimitar ships. I have Fozzy and a Loki, he loves the I love the Loki. Look how quick that typhoon went down. Blimey. They're another weird looking ship, but I like them. The kind of bits us. Bits of ships. Boom. And another. Back on the game now. That's good. Just finish this gate off. It even tells you there now, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> tells you that you need to destroy the smuggler gate. Okay, let's get these killed now. Blimey. See, the Tech 2 version we used to fly in of these ruptures is immune in. Uh, and we used to fly those a lot. We used to use those a lot in airlines. A lot of lights just did. It's just the ship to use at the time. With its bonuses and things. Flipping heck. Oh, we'll finish these off. The ruptures, like I say, the Tech 1 versions. Very weak, easy to kill. Very easy to kill. Just caught him before it explodes. Bye bye. Took his time then. Let's get on these. Let's get these big boys sorted.
Yeah, typhoons. There's sort of a... I don't know, I've never really got with the typhoon. The Tempest I love, the Maelstrom I love. The Munin I love, the Vagabond. The Cinnabon. Just never really got on with the uh, Typhoon. Okay. How much are they hit me for? Misses me completely. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I'm out of range. Let's approach them. Oh, dear God. I'm not going to add those to. Uh, to the overview. No way, Jose. That's why I don't add, add Rex, because uh, there we go, more spawns. Lippinek, and there's no bonuses on these either. I'm just going to have to finish this gate off. Oops. I'm going to have to finish the gate off. So there's no more uh, reinforcements. <laughs> and these, uh, the Tech 2 version is a Hugin, or the Huggin, or whatever you want to call it, it's a Hugin. Can't say that without a scouse twang to it, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, Don't know, I can't remember what the Tech 1 version is. I'll, I'll find out. Right, the jump gate's gonna go. Then we can finish these boys off. Sweet. That'll stop reinforcements coming through. Those three are typhoons. Okay. Oh no. Stop. Stop. You're wasting ammo. Let's go for these. <coughs> and that one. Good one. You can see the DPS coming in and it's, that, it's high. It never normally gets high, so I know my fit's wrong. So I'll remember next time more kinetic than explosive. And you've actually got some EM there as well. You can see it. See the colours. Yeah, Hugin has um, bonuses. The Tech 2 version has bonuses for long range webs, webbies, and scrams. And they are used in fleet for that purpose. They get the bonuses from the fleet. And Massive. I've seen them webbing and scramming at 70, 80 kilometers. Crazy. It's good stuff. That's why they're always primary in a fleet. In, K uh, in, in a fleet situation, they are always primary by the uh, by the enemy. Uh, like damnation. That used to be the bonus ship. 
complete bonus ship, and so the damnation was always the one I got. Spit for a Titan on the field, which happened to me once, and I was in. Well, the Titan just took me out, one shot in me, of course. Even though I had huge bonuses for for um, EHP, but you can't you can't tank a damnation to uh, with standard Titan strike. But because I was the fleet bonus ship, you're first to go. Come on, boys. I think we, yeah, it's done. Could warp off now. We'll finish these two buggers off. He's dead, he just doesn't know it yet. There you go. Bye bye. Boom. And we're out of here. So that's the uh, Hull 5 completed. We'll probably have a storyline coming up soon. I love how it tells you what you need to do. Never used to have that in the old days. Oh, an Ibis. Deadly. Deadly ship. I'm joking. So, just for future reference, guys. Uh, the last room, kinetic and explosive. More kinetic than explosive resistance is what's required. Here's a Sharon. I've got one of those for moving stuff about on my alt. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Sweet. There we go. So we'll just finish this. We'll tell her we've done it. Amazing work. You've done great. Deed, a great deed today, Anita Easy. Enjoy your reward. Why, thank you. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, guys. That's it for today. I will be back on. Like I said, I'm going to be off for about uh, three days. Um, personal stuff to sort out, but I will be back. Um, thank you again for watching. Please, please like, please subscribe. I do appreciate them. Uh, and I'll see you again on the next next time round. We'll do some more level 4 missions. I don't know if it'll be in a Tengu. We might do it in something different again. You never know. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Fly safe. Bye-bye.